print drivers are part of the print equation that will enable your computer to communicate with your physical printer. When you install a printer on Server 2012, the driver is also installed. That is why the computer is able to communicate with the printer. On your client machine, you add your printer. When you add the printer, that printer driver is downloaded to your client computer so that the computer and the printer can communicate. Now, if you are using a 64-bit device printer, it means that your computer would be running a 64-bit version of Windows. If you have a 32-bit Windows system on your network, then the 64-bit driver will not work with that 32-bit window system. You will need to have two types of drivers on your server. One for the 32-bit or x86 system and another one for the 64-bit version of Windows. We want to take a look and see how we will add an additional printer. For example, if you had a 64-bit driver installed on your server and you have client computers on your network that have a 32-bit window system, how do you go ahead and add that additional 32-bit driver on your server. Let's take a look. In this demonstration, we're going to be adding drivers for computers running 32-bit version of Windows. We want to right-click on the printer and we want to click on Manage Sharing. Within the property box, we want to click on the sharing tab. And to the bottom right, you can see additional drivers. So we're going to click on additional drivers. And you can see here, you have a choice of x86 or x64. For our 32-bit window systems, we need x86. So what you do here in this window, is simply click on x86 and once you have done that the driver for x86 will be installed on your system and computers within your environment that are 32-bit Windows systems will then be able to use the driver so that they will be able to print from their systems. So let us go ahead and click on the x86 checkbox. And what we need to do now is to find the driver. And you can see that we have the driver here selected. And we need then to click on OK. And once we have done that, then the driver will be installed. We want to take a look at printer permissions. To set printer permissions, you need to right click on the printer and then click on properties. So we're now here into the property box of the printer. We need to click then the security tab. Under, under the security tab, we have permissions. You have print permission, manage this printer permission, manage documents, and special permissions. Let's take a look and see what these permissions entail. 
For the print permission, as you can see, this is here by default. Even if you didn't set any permissions on the printer, the user already has print permission. And this print permission allows the user to print, to cancel, to pause, and to restart print jobs that the user has sent to the printer. Then we have the second permission, manage printers. If we choose that option, if we give that permission to a user or group, that gives the user or group the permission to rename, delete, share, and choose preferences for the printer. In addition to management rights of print jobs. Then what about manage documents? Manage documents. This permission lets the user also manage other users' print jobs that are waiting in the print queue, besides being able to manage his or her own job. Then you have special permissions. If you choose this permission, the user will be able to do things such as change the printer owner if it became necessary to do so. Let us take a look and see how we would actually carry out the task of setting permissions on a printer. In the Print Management Console, we want to right click on our printer, then we want to click on Properties, and we want to click on the Security tab. We want to add the user or the group that we want to give this permission to. So we're going to click on Add. And we're going to look for that person by clicking on Advanced. Find Now. And we want to do Adam. So we're going to click on Adam. Click on OK. And select OK to select Adam. Next, we want to assign the permission to Adam. We're going to give him the permission, manage this printer. So under the allow column, we're going to click the checkbox for manage this printer. Then we're going to click apply and OK. And that is how we give Adam manage permission for that printer. Let us take a look at another print management task, printer priorities. In some cases, administrators with the manage this printer permission might want to give certain users in your organization priority access to a print device so that when print traffic is heavy, their jobs are processed before those of others. To do this, you'd have to create multiple printers and associate them with the same print device. So that is print pooling, as we described in the previous session. We're going to look here at setting the printer priority. We want to right click on the printer. We want to click on properties. And we click on the advanced tab. Here you can see priority. Your priorities, the highest number represents the higher priority. The highest possible priority is 99, and the lowest priority is 1. It doesn't matter what number you choose, as long as one printer has a higher priority value than the other, the server will process its print job first. 
In other words, it doesn't matter if the higher priority value is 9 or 99, as long as the lower priority value is less. So we're going to choose 4 here as our priority, as our higher priority, so that a device that has 4 on it as a priority will print faster than another one that has a priority of 1. We also, under the Advanced tab, want to look at making the printer available from one, from one time to another time. For example, in your office, you might only want the printer to be available from 8 in the morning, the beginning of work, or until 5 or 4 or whenever work finishes. And if you make your printer available for that time, the user who has access to the printer will only be able to print during those times. So we want to do that. We want to click on Available From. And we're going to change here to 8 a.m. So I'm going to click on the 12. And I'm going to type 8 and press Enter. And we want to go to 4 p.m. So I'm going to change the 12 here to 4. Press Enter and change the a.m. Clicking on the a.m. and typing p.m. And then pressing Enter so that the user now will only be able to print from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Outside of those times, the user will not be able to print. We want to go ahead and click Apply and OK. And we want to close the printer property dialog box. We want to take a look at updating or changing the printer driver for a printer. So in print management, we want to right click on the printer. We want to click on properties and you want to select the advanced tab. Here you see driver and there is the driver that exists currently. To change the driver for a new one, you want to click on New Driver. Then you click on Next. And we're going to, for the manufacturer, we're going to look for HP. So we're going to click the down arrow until we find HP. So we're going to click on HP. And the driver that we want is the second driver in our list. HP Color Laser Jet 2500 PS Class Driver. So we're going to click on that driver. So that's the one we want for our new driver. Then we click on Next and Finish. Then we can click on Apply and OK. And that is how we would install the new driver on the printer. In this session, we have looked at adding additional drivers for computers running 32-bit versions of Windows. We looked at configuring printer permissions, setting up printer priorities. We looked at setting the available time that a user can use the printer. This is the end of our session. I want to thank you for listening.